plus two. This is Sarah, Our Stitching Kingdom. Sorry, I've not adjusted here. There we go. It is Thursday, April 25th, 2019, and I thought I would hop on here and up give you an update for last week and my mania plans, and we'll go from there. <gasps> Excuse me. Allergies. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Okay, anyway. Uh, springtime for sure. So, hope everybody had a great week. Um, Monday was Izzy's birthday, and so it was her 18th birthday, so we went out to dinner to celebrate. We went to um, Buca di Beppo, which is a family-style Italian restaurant, and you get way too much food, but you have leftovers for, like, days. It's great. Um, and I hope everybody had a happy Easter, a happy Passover, or just a happy happy over the weekend. Um, I know I'm a little late, but so, but it's been a bit of a crazy, crazy week with Izzy's birthday and everything. So, but she had a good time. I can't believe she's 18. She's going to be graduating next month. It's going to be nuts. So May is going to be a little bit of a crazy month, but that's okay. It's all, it always is. I just wanted to, um, give you an update for last week's magical stitches. So we'll just hop right into that. Um, there on Thursday that we had a full moon pop-up event and so we had to stitch 30 stitches on something dark or on a light dark color 30 stitches on a light color and then 30 stitches on an animal so it was 90 stitches total so for my girls at girl state I am doing these I voted come on focus there we go I voted um badges that I'm going to make into magnets so they can always, you know, have. And so I did 50 on the blue because it's the other color blue I have is a dark blue and then 50 on the white or not 30 on the, the dark blue and then 30 on the white. And like I said, the other one is a bit darker blue, but I had run out of this color. So, but I think they look good. So I've got seven of these done so far. Um, 21 more to go, <laughs> but that's fun. They're in 10 stitch, so they're going pretty quickly. And so, um, that's another one of my works in progress that I've been working on. Super fun. Um, and the white was also from those I voted. And that's a free pattern from Ink Circles. They released it last year, um, during Fall Fling, actually, right before. So, um, just check them out. It's on their, their website or their Facebook page. Um, and it's just ink circles. Um, and then we had to do another 30 stitches on an animal. And I chose to stitch some more on Mr. Peacock because he's amazing. So I got some more done on him. And... That's what the pattern looks like so far. We'll be getting a new release next week. And I'm super far behind, but that's okay. I'm enjoying stitching on him, so it's... And he'll come out, I think, next year, or next month for extra credit anyway, or projects, or he'll, he'll get some attention. Okay, and then Saturday, um, the 20th, we actually, as a family, went up to Crystal Hot Springs. It's a natural hot spring. Um, kind of like they've built pools and stuff around it and you just go and you hang out and they have, um, they're really interesting because they have a cool spring and a hot hot spring. So you can bring them together and it can cool it down or one, one spring um, is at 75 is their high, is its highest temperature. And then the other one is over a hundred degrees, over 200 degrees. So, but it's super fun. It was a really nice day. Um, forgot sunscreen because it was such a nice day and we've not had the sun out, <laughs> but so some of us got a little bit burnt, but that's okay. It was fun. Um, and then that afternoon I got to go and hang out with Andrea, who's misbehaving stitches on Instagram. Um, Andy Jo is another name she goes by. Love her so much. And then Lori, um, and she's Ogden Stitcher on Instagram. And then Sarah Dockstatter, um, Dockstatter. She, um, is 
Nawanda97, I want to say, on Instagram. So I'll link them below. They're really awesome. I love them so much. And um, Nisha and her kids, um, the Sassy Stitch and Sisters and Brother, so we had Maggie, Zoe, and Wyatt. They stopped by for a little bit on their way to their grandma's. Um, Maggie sat next to me and we were chit-chatting and Nisha was was chit-chatting with us and so we talked for a little bit and then she kind of wandered around same with Wyatt they were they were having fun um their husband and their dad came too um I think his name's Garrett so it was really cool to to see them and to visit with them and to you know chit-chat um Andrea was telling us all about um stitch shenanigans because she got to go and telling us about all the fun all the fun that she had and it was her first retreat so you could just you know the excitement that she had and the things that she got and people she met it was so awesome. And then Christine stitched all the things. Hey, Christine, um, in her vlog video on Sunday, was talking about how her and Andrea were hanging out. And I t messaged her. I was like, Andrea, she, Christine's talking about you. And she kind of freaked out. She was like, ah. But um, we convinced Andrea, Sarah, and I convinced Lori to join School of Magical Stitches. So we recruited her to the dark side. And so we're really excited. And she's like, I've never thought I'd be counting stitches, but here I am. So we're excited to have her. Um, and it was really funny because Andrea was like, three out of four would recommend, stitchers recommend. And there were three out of the four because... Um, Nisha and her kids had left by then, so, but it was hilarious. It was so much fun. Um, and so I actually got, let me find her, a page finish on my Alice. Super exciting. Pull up the picture. This is Alice by RETM. And I finished all this from right here. So now I just have this side and Alice to do. I'm so excited. So that's my progress. So I have the rest of the tea party to do and then the cat and the caterpillar and the tree is over here and then there's another motif and then there's the motif that Alice is on and then there's Alice herself. So I've got like, I wanna say it's like three more pages to do. So I'm super excited. She's coming along and I thought she was going to take longer, but really she's, you know, not taking as long as I thought. So especially with magical stitches and stitching on her a little bit every day or a couple days. So, um, so that was, and then on Monday, we got our homework assignment and it was, we had upset the Whomping Willow and it's not a good tree to upset because, you know, he hits back. Um, so we had to choose a couple of different things. We could choose 300 stitches on a tree, vine, or grass, and then 300 stitches on green thread. Um, those were the two choices for that. And then somebody blabbed about the secret room that was underneath the Whomping Willow and we had to do... 300 stitches on a building or if we thought that we kept the secret that we didn't blab it we had to do we could do 400 450 stitches on a um, project of our choice so I got my homework done so I'm gonna show you that really quick for my green I stitched on lucky notes from shepherd's bush this was a kit I got from them because there's a whole lot of green in this, in this guy. So that's what it's going to look like when it's done. And then you can choose small, the, these smalls are made out of the motifs from in here. But it's nice because it's got all the stuff in it. It came with the fabric. It's a really stiff linen. I've not worked with this stiff of a linen before. It was kind of interesting. But... That's how far I got. Where's my... Hmm. That's how far I got. So I had had... Originally, I'd only had this much done. And so I finished out the greens right there. And so this is the end of the pattern, and then this is the top of the pattern, so we'll just go across. And this is actually one of my ultimate stitching homework because it's a 
lucky and um excuse me um Hag or Voldemort tried to kill Harry seven times so you know and he didn't die so that to me sorry I'm showing the pattern that to me is pretty dang lucky so that's where we're going how we're incorporating those and then I didn't blab about the Whomping Willow about the secret room I know how to keep a secret unlike some people <clears throat> Peter Pettigrew um excuse me so I worked on, and this is in a, some hall that I'm breaking the floss tube rule because I'm a rebel like that, but I couldn't help not using it because it's amazing and I was so excited to get it, but I'll, I'll talk about the bag and haul, but I'll talk about my stitching right now. So, um, in the great Biscornu swap, um, they're doing their new fantasy swap. And so this is what I chose to do, which is Mermaid Biscornu by Tani Modernist. And I had to figure out which way was the top. So I kind of started it really low on this end. So I've got, you know, it's a good thing I just folded in, but I've got barely enough on the bottom there, but that's okay. We'll make it work. So I just have to do the last little coral bit, just have to repeat the pattern. So the coral bit, the plant, the crabby guy and then the other plant and I'll be and then some of the back there's a little bit of backstitching in this and then this side will be done and then I will start on this side up here with the mermaid and I'm actually going to change because she's got her hair I'm going to make um grapefruit from weeks and let me just grab both of these so because she's got red hair, but I wanted to do it a little bit more red. So I did the grapefruit, or great grenadine, sorry, grenadine from, from Weeks. And then her top, because she's got a teal tail. Can't do a pink top with teal tail. Gotta do a purple top with a teal tail. Especially if you're a Disney fan. So I'm gonna make her Ariel. And that's Peoria Purple. Yeah, Peoria Purple. By weeks and so I should have enough there but yeah I was like I will do that and be smart but so that'll be fun I have I needed to get this done pretty quick because it's due in June and June's kind of crazy so if I have this done I can get all the goodies for the exchange and then we'll be good so um that's what I've got stitching wise we got our our extra credit stitching assignments which is exciting um but I'm just gonna go as I as I do um I'm just gonna explain what they are um so mania plans and just gonna do it kind of quick um I didn't do mania last year and so um this is my first year doing mania I like the blimey cat method idea of if I finish something, I can start something next year. Um, and just because I've got a lot of whips, I've got like 20, 20 something whips right now. So um going to be get working on those. So um, maybe one year I'll do in Monogamania or whatever. So um, the first ones I'm doing is I'm doing all of these awesome... hands-on design and I'm not going to take them out of the oops except for this one I've got to straighten the and I might lose battery here so we may have to oops throw one thread everywhere so the first one one of the ones I'm doing not the first one is here the bells which was the Christmas one and we'll just throw you down there for now and then their newest one was grown with love it's got, I, I kitted it up last year at um, Fall Fling, but the, it comes with the velveteen. Put on the hat, and I got that in a stitchy box in the Halloween box. Super fun. Made me want to start them when I got that one. Live Within Your Harvest, and I'm going to do the drum finishes on all of these. Where Liberty Dwells, which I love this one. And then one of my favorites, and I of course put the fabric or the thread in front of it is oh say can you see that whale is just adorable 
or it's a submarine, I'm sorry. Submarine and the jellyfish. So cute. But yeah, it's got the velveteen. I've got the thread, the floss for it. So I'm, I'm also going to be doing some Mill Hill kits. I'll just talk about those. Um, this is Azul, little sugar skull guy. And Rosa, kind of a purpley, purpley red, a pinky red. She's cute. Um, the pumpkin, which is really fun. Um, the Santa, the, this is the Grand Canyon Santa. And I finished the Yellowstone Santa. I got that one for Christmas, so he's fun. I think, is that all my Mill Hills? Yep, that's all my Mill Hills. And then I'm going to do, my grandma gave me these. I thought they were fun. They're these, just these black work ballerinas. They're fun. And then I got a couple of Lizzie Kates for Christmas. This is um, Life Isn't About Waiting for the Storm to Pass, It's Learning to Dance in the Rain. And it's got all the floss and everything in it. And then I got, and then this one is Gratitude Turns What We Have Into Enough. So doing that one. And then this is the kit that we got at Fall Fling. It was designed by um, Jeannie um, from the Blue Flower. Jean Mc sorry, Jean McGowan of the Blue Flower. And it's got all this, all the fabric. It's got the pattern. I can't show you the pattern. And it's got the floss. So. And then I'm also doing Liberty Notes by Shepherd's Bush. This is also the kit. I'm trying not to show the pattern, but it's got everything in it. And then I'm also doing Scary Apothecary. And um, this is so broomstick fuel, bitter brew, and bat balm. So broomstick fuel and bat balm, I'm using these for the ultimate stitching extra credit because with the Quidditch related stuff. And I have all the stuff on that. I've got the fabric that I got at Acorns and Threads when I was there in the spring. I got um, the classic color works colors from uh, Starlight Stitchery. And then I got a combination of the Krynix from both Starlight Stitchery and Acorns and Threads. So this is kind of like a remembrance, you know, remembering a trip and, you know, lots of good things on that. And then I also got this at, um, Acorns and Threads, I'm going to work on that. It is Till Death by Satsuma Street. Super fun. And that Scary Apothecary is also hands-on design. So, um, and then I'm hoping to work on My Lady of the Flag because she's amazing. I'm not going to take her out, but that's what she looks like. I don't have much done on her. Well, we could take her out. It's fine. Sorry, batteries died. So, I was at Lady of the Flag. Mirabilia, she's amazing. And this is on the We the People fabric by Fabric Flare. Behind, that's where I'm at. This is the very end of her robe. And then this is the bottom of the page that I'm working on. So I'm just going, uh, I'm filling it in and going up. So, um, if you've ever seen Jesse Marie's, oh, Happy birthday, Jessie Marie! Um, I'm gonna be working. I don't know what I'm gonna work on her for her birthday sal, but I want to join in because she's amazing. But Jessie Marie's Lady of the Flag is amazing. She's beautiful. Um, but Lady of the Flag is gorgeous anyway. So, but that's what I'm doing there. I'm hoping to work on her in May and in June. Um, I try to work on her on the holidays, but sometimes it doesn't work. So but I do try to get in a little bit on her. So, um, really quick. Oh, and then also I'm giving myself, cause there's a couple of days in May, we've got a competition for Alice, um, for her, um, it's her last competition. We've got that. And then two days later, we've got her dance recital and that's the last thing of the year for her. So, um, there, those two days, there's no way I can stitch maybe one at the recital while I'm like waiting for things to happen. But, um, I'm going to start this as well. This is Blue Moroccan Lace by, Shen, by Chatelaine. 
Um, I don't have a picture of it because I haven't printed off my pattern yet and it's a PDF. So, but I'm going to start her, start that one. Super excited. And then really quick, I have some haul. Um, I got my order from, this is from Trish at 3L Threads. And this is my nest egg. She's amazing. She's got a lot of different, um, different types of floss clubs. Like she has, um, what is it? She's got weeks. She's got gentle art. She's got dinky dyes. She's got, she's got a couple different silks and my cat's yelling at me. So here we go. This is coal, which I have a lot of. It's a, like a brownish black. Chris's bonbon, which is a really pretty kind of brown. Hunter, green, obviously. I liked this one, Harvest. Really nice variegation there. Um, I liked this one too. This is Hot Rod. Reminds you of the, the flames from the cars or what they painted on the cars. Um, iceberg, like the lettuce. Not the one that killed Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, Ivy. Really pretty greens on that. Um, I really like this one. This is Ladybug. It's so cute. It's like blacks and purples and reds. And then these are two of my favorites. Oh, that's funny. They're kind of... Isla Mirada. I love that color. It's like this really gorgeous, like, greeny teal. And then Kentucky Bluegrass. And then my daughter got a diamond painting kit. We bought her one because she saw me kind of working on one. Um, it's a cheapy one from Wish, but it's it's pretty fun. Um, and so I got this one on Diamond Art Club because I watched Danielle. And she was talking about how good these ones are. And they are a little spendy, but this one was on clearance. This was like $15. And it came really quick. They, it was from Las Vegas, so. Um, but, so it comes with a little pouch with the stuff in it. But what I liked is that canvas is really, really soft. And then it's just a small one. But the funny thing is, is that the canvas is iridescent. Like this part of it. I don't know if it'll pick up, but it's iridescent. It's kind of sparkly. So really nice. There's, and it, it lays pretty flat, even though it's been, you know, rolled up. So I like to work on that every once in a while. So, but that's what I've got. Um, Alice has a competition this weekend. We're going to go stay the night down in Salt Lake because she has to be there at like 6.15 in the morning. And it's like, that's crazy. So um, she's got that going on. And then... Next week, just kind of playing catch up again and then starts into the craziness of May and mania. And I hope you have, so it'll be fun, but I have, hope you have all, all have, I cannot talk. See, it's cr crazy here. <laughs> um, I hope you all have a great week. Um, I want to say thank you for coming back. If you um, are, have subscribed. Um, welcome to all my new subscribers. I've had a, a couple of new people pop up and I love that. Um, I do floss too because it's fun and I meet new people. I, you know, I've got met some amazing people, um, through this community and wouldn't have met them otherwise. So, um, oh, my other haul that I hinted at and then didn't say anything. Let me be speaking of amazing people. This bag is made by Lolly at Lollipop Stitches. She's in the UK. And that's Tula Pink with Venus fly traps and Death Head Moths. And then I love the front. And then the inside has these cute little bats. And then the moons and the stars. And I had to put my mermaid one in that right away. But she had on the back of the envelope was this cute little sticker. And I had to tear it off and, and put it put tape over it because I tore off the sticky. But yeah, so I have to save Lolly, put Lolly right there. So I'll link her in her Etsy shop below. I'll link her floss tube below. Um, but I love Lolly. She's amazing. Um, she's fantastic. Like a, a whole bunch of you guys, of everybody in the floss tube community is pretty fantastic. So have a great week 
and we will catch you later. Love you guys. Bye.